it doesn't really matter what happens behind the scenes at Activision Blizzard. Now, what do I mean by this? I shared a report in regards to some personnel changes. First, starting with J. Allen Brack, the president or former president of Activision Blizzard. It has surfaced that yet another member of their staff has decided to no longer be a part of the company. That person's name is Jesse Mashuk. I don't know if I have pronounced that name or not, but I don't care. Um, this person is the head of HR. I didn't see this individual in the Cosby Suite pictures or anything like that, but clearly if you're in a position like that, you think you wanna take charge and handle these issues right away, but instead nothing got done until years later when things are too late. Now. We're talking about this right now because when things went down, things were coming out, you notice the stock went down. And when the stock went down, that's when Bobby went out there and said, every voice matters, right? Other members of the C-suite do not disagree based on the information that we have shared here in prior videos. We won't be talking too much more about that. However, what we will be talking about is Activision stock, if you notice, when I talked about a earlier video, that stock was riding around, I don't know, 70s, upper 70s. Now, originally it was up here in the mid 80s, but it took a big drop when things started to come out and the stock was going down, down, down. And Bobby was like, OK, uh, we care about our employees and it's very important that you say stuff and uh, please let us know what's going on. Uh, yeah, we, we really value your opinions and your voice matters. One thing, if you notice, and you can't see my mouse, I don't know if I can highlight this, but there was a recent event. They had a quarter two earnings call. I had no idea to even think about this. And I'm like, why in the freak? And go back, if you notice, it's going back. This is after hours trading, where we're back to about 84, 36. It kind of dropped back to a little low 82. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, the stock is just it's back to normal as if nothing happened. When you have a quarter earnings call with your investors and your entire point is to prove to your investors that you have a hold on everything that's going on in the company. And when you share the numbers that you share and then investors are like, oh, okay, everything's fine. So let's go ahead and dump our money back into Activision. Like nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. That's exactly what's happening. If you're a gamer or you're a someone on YouTube like myself, we're not gonna stop talking about this. Yes, there are some people that have left. There are some people that are stepping down. There is still more work that needs to be done. That's just my opinion. I don't work for them. I don't do anything like that. The investors do not agree. Activision Blizzard stock rises as results top street view. Activision Blizzard shares rose in the extended session Tuesday after the video game publisher's results topped Wall Street estimates. There you go. So long story short, they had told their investors this is what we expected and they exceeded that. Even with everything that's going on, they've exceeded those numbers. So as a result, it doesn't matter if there's problems going on with the company. It doesn't matter if these allegations are true. It doesn't matter if you know they say things but then do something different. The numbers speak louder than worst. They do, and it's unfortunate. This is what your boy Bobby Kotick had to say during the earnings call. With respect to our financial performance, we are pleased that the company continued to deliver strong results in the second quarter and we are raising our outlook for the year. We remain intensely focused on the well-being of our employees and we are committed to doing everything possible to ensure that our company has a welcoming, supported, and safe environment where all of our team members can thrive. If you want, I will provide a link in the description down below. All the numbers are here. Long story short, their expectations have been exceeded. And because of that, we don't care that there's problems going on behind the scenes. Just get the job done. You can take my money. We're gonna continue to invest and we're back in the circle all over again. Now, the question is this, are we just gonna sweep Activision Blizzard under the rug and just live life as normal? Or are we going to can continue to talk about these issues, these acquisitions and call to action.
I would hope the second option would be your answer. But leave your comments down below what you think about everything that's going on. Numbers speak louder than words, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm just going to keep it at that. It sucks, but that's how it works. Anytime there's any massive thing like that, like a company exceeds their expectations when it comes to numbers per quarter, or if they do like massive layoffs, the stock goes up. When there's layoffs, stocks go up. Because when you lower your expenses to your income, when there's more money coming in, regardless on how it affects other people, then the company stock just goes up. Sadly, that's just how the game is played. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. You know the deal. Hit that like button if you enjoy this content. Leave a subscription. It's Hit that red subscription button, please. Please. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.